Hi, it's Paul Quinn, Associate Principal at Watford GTC. Uh, I'm here to talk about our uh, work with Apple on the Everyone Can Code curriculum and some of the, the challenges we've had, how we're getting it in place and what our future plans are. Um, at the top end, we're quite keen for our uh, coders, our, our older students, to be able to use the Swift app development tool. Um, we use Xcode for that. Um, our network manager, Steve, is currently talking to the technical support at Apple, which has been really good so far because there have been a, a couple of challenges in terms of getting the software installed, getting it across our Apple network and being able to use that. But the support is really good and we're planning from January to have that up and running with our, with our students. So they'll be using Xcode, learning how to um, code using Swift and then develop apps using that platform as well. In terms of training, one of our colleagues, Alex, has been on a three-day uh, training course um, with Apple down in Stockley Park, and that was very, very useful. I went there for a couple of hours myself during the programme. It was really informative. The material, support material was really good. The curriculum is written. The lessons are written. The teacher guides are there. The solutions, and it's all done within um, one, one platform, and it's, it's interactive, allows uh, marking and development to happen, and students potentially can work through it at their own pace uh, and learning the code and working through that. So it, it's a really exciting curriculum. It's really well resourced, and it, it pretty much works out the box once the software is installed on the network and once um, the, the program starts. So Alex is after the three day training feels really empowered to be able to support our students that are going to going to be working on that. Now, in terms of curriculum, um, it does fit into places on our specialist curriculum. There's certainly the programming unit in the, the BTEC IT course, um, which which you know, the, the code can be used there. Um, coding is obviously part of the GCSE and A-level curriculums as well. Um, and in addition to that, there's obviously the app development units that, that form part of the BTEC qualifications. And not all that can be, can be integrated fairly easily into those courses. But we're initially going to start it in January with students who want it as an extracurricular activity to go over and above what um, the students are already learning to be able to use Swift, to use an industry level platform in order to develop apps. And we think that's, that'd be a terrific outcome for them that they, they can put that on their CV, they can show that skill set, and it gives them some, an employable, marketable skill to have. At the other end of the Everyone Can Code um, spectrum, if you like, um, Apple have also developed a curriculum for um, from, from primary, from, from year one all the way through. And we currently work with local primary school. We have I have a, a team of students that, that work on rotation. So, and we go out and work with, at the moment, uh, reception in year one, because the local primary school just opened. They've only got two year groups, and they have a reception in a, in a year one group. So for the last year, we've been going over there with small groups of students. They work with groups of 10 of the, the primary students, and we use our iPads on a one-to-one -one basis with the students and we do a range of a range of software and app tools to, to help them learn how, how to code. In particular, <coughs> we use the CodeSpark Academy um, app and it's got a nice little set of programs that, that, that the students can uh, um, learn their initial coding skills on. Um, and alongside that, um, we start to use Tinker as well. Now, what is great about the Everyone Can Code curriculum with Apple is that um, they have also put a, a curriculum in place, a series of lessons. It's got 30 hours worth of lessons specifically aimed at year one to year three, and it goes through the primary curriculum. And what's great about that is we've spent a year working with reception students, beginning to get them to, to develop coding skills and programming skills using your very visual apps and step-by-step and -step guides. But we sort of needed a, a bit of material to, to really push on to the next stage. So having this Everyone Can Code curriculum, again, the lessons are there, the planning's there, the software's there, it can all be done on the iPads, is, is, is really helpful. And we can see that being a, a terrific development. Now, the benefits of for us, for what for UTC of doing this, is for our students that come out and essentially work as teachers with the, the younger reception and year one students. And for them, it's an incredible bit of work experience, incredible um, um, opportunity for them to, 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 to present their coding skills to, to other young people. Um, for the youngsters themselves at the, the primary schools, just for them to work with, with different older older students as well to see that not all teachers are, are really old um, I think is, is, is they really enjoy that experience as well but also in terms of teacher training for the staff at the primary school because one of the members of staff there will shadow our coding session 
and they themselves get involved in the coding and, and, and the learning as well. So they can they can take that on once we've left for our session. They can they can do additional work with the students as well. But we're, we're at a stage now where we want to push on the curriculum so that everyone can code curriculum that, that's available from Apple has, has just given us a set of materials that we can work on and develop. So we're really excited with, with this, the projects at both ends of the spectrum. So at our top end, for our own students to be able to, to learn an additional language that's something that is used in industry to develop apps, which is a really useful outcome to have. Um, our future plans are to, to open up that training to, to other, other students that are not at Watford UTC to offer it to the wider community and to continue to develop our primary curriculum and our support of the primary schools and supporting teacher training um, with our own students gaining work experience as well. So I just want to say that the support from the team at Apple so far has been terrific. Um, it's a, a can-do approach, um, which is, is really refreshing. And it's just that, that value added, that plus one, that little thing that's different um, that, that makes it that bit special. So I would highly recommend getting involved in this project.